Hello, it's December 5th, and today marks the anniversary of the passage of the 21st Amendment to the United States Constitution that took place in 1933. This is remarkable because it's the only amendment to the Constitution that has repealed another amendment. It appealed the 18th Amendment, which was passed in 1919, but didn't take effect until January 29, 1920. The 18th Amendment was prohibition, and the temperance movement had been going on for a long time. Supporters of the temperance movement thought the passage of the 18th Amendment would help the economy, in addition to making people just better people. With people not spending their money on alcohol, that would mean that there would be more disposable income for things like going to the movies, buying household goods, clothing, things of that nature. But they were wrong. Thousands of jobs were lost, not just in the brewery and distillery business, but also in the restaurant industry, where small places were no longer able to make enough profit without the sales of alcohol. Additionally, the federal government lost thousands of dollars in income because there was no longer alcohol to be taxed. The way the 18th Amendment was written, there were plenty of loopholes, so America was never really a dry country. Examples of these loopholes were the medicinal use of alcohol, which led to an increase in pharmacies popping up, religious purposes, which led to an increase in attendance at houses of worship, and lots of people pretending to be rabbis. And of course, there's always the trip to the local hardware store and county library, which provided people with the equipment and knowledge necessary to make their own alcohol. Ordinary citizens found themselves committing great crimes, and the justice system was ill-equipped to handle the sudden influx of people. As everyone I'm sure remembers, prohibition also gave rise to organized crime. With all of the failures of prohibition, it wasn't long before people found themselves regretting the 18th Amendment. When President Roosevelt was seeking election, not that one, that one. In addition to the New Deal, he promised to support action to repeal the 18th Amendment. In 1933, the 21st Amendment was in place, effectively nullifying the 18th Amendment. And there you have it something to toast to on December 5th. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share the link to this video on social media, and I'll see you tomorrow. In 1933, one of 